Hey, my people, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank y'all for sharing my videos. Continue that love by continuing to comment, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, sharing by continuing to watch episodes one through six or less from libations hosted by Molly Jones and I. It helps the algorithm of the channel, it helps YouTube know that y'all rock with me, that you rock with Amani and I on our podcast. Okay, this is another disabled and video. Disabled and holding in hurt feelings. It's okay to feel the way that you feel. Don't let nobody tell you that holding in hurt feelings and disappointments is wrong. It is not wrong, but it is wrong when you don't try to process those hurt feelings and let them go. Okay, it's okay to think about those hurt feelings. It's okay to figure out how can you let go of those hurt feelings it's okay to you know smile while you are dealing with whatever you're dealing with it's okay to always laugh okay but what is not okay is to keep those feelings in year after year decade after decade because you are slowly killing yourself on the inside i'm just gonna let you know you are slowly killing yourself it is not cool to continue to hold that in make sure that you have a strong strong support system when dealing with past emotions past trauma past disappointments like I said, you are a human being. I'm a human being. I got past hurts, disappointments, and feelings that I keep inside that I always have a smile on my face. I'm always laughing. I'm, 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 I'm always joking. I am always joking. I'm always smiling because I have a lot of stuff going on in my head having a lot of emotions that are inside of me but I have a small circle of friends I have a small support system that I can go to and talk to when I am dealing with past emotions that have been triggered because you know sometimes Something or somebody can trigger those old emotions in you, those old disappointments. You are only a human being. Just because you're disabled don't mean that you don't have the right to feel. And that you don't have the right to really understand why you are feeling the way that you feel. But... Just make sure that you continue to talk to people that you are comfortable with talking to. Because if you're not comfortable talking to people, you're going to slowly kill the inside of you. You're going to slowly kill your spirit. You're going to slowly dim the light that's in your eyes. And you can never dim the light that's in your eyes. Because once you get numb to the feelings that you keep having, that keep coming up, once you get numb to that, you're just going to go through life like whatever. You know, you're going to always be depressed. You're going to always be... We can say it. Sometimes it may manifest into you blowing up on people. And I, for one, don't want that to happen to anybody. If you are going through something, talk to somebody. It don't even have to be a professional. You can talk to a friend. That friend can be the one 
to help you understand what triggered you to have those past emotions resurface. That friend or that support system can be there to say, hey, I understand what you feel. And this is my suggestion for you to get yourself back in the right frame of mind so that you can live a healthy life. You know what I'm saying? And my, and, and my suggestion to everybody, even, and this is for everybody, not just somebody that's disabled, but this is for everybody. If you have past emotions, past disappointments that keep rearing its ugly head and making you feel some type of way breathe go for a walk um go to a call a friend tell a friend to come get you so that y'all can hang out and talk you know read a book um do a puzzle you know do something to keep your mind from going into a dark place because I know how easy it can be to go into a dark, dark place and not be able to come out. And I don't want that for anybody. So I just need for if if you are feeling this way, I just need for you to just breathe, talk to somebody. Um, if counseling is your thing, go to counseling. If counseling's not your thing, go to a friend that you trust in your support system and have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Have somebody to listen to you to help give you suggestions on what you can do to deal with past rejections, disappointments, hurt feelings, just a lot of emotions that you got. You know what I'm saying? Try to deal with those emotions in a positive way. Because if you don't, you're going to end up killing yourself from the inside out. You're going to throw yourself into your work. And you're going to work yourself to death. You're going to blow up on somebody. You're going to want to fight somebody. And that's not good for anybody. So just try your best to get the help in which you need. Just just do that. Just just do that and see how that works. And if that don't work, like I said, there's always the option of counseling. Talk to a professional that can help you understand why you cannot let go of hurt past, hurt disappointments hurt rejections you know so just just you know try those things and see what happens life may be a whole lot different for you just saying but comment down below if this is you and tell me how you are dealing with the past resurfacing for you how you are dealing with all of this and in the meantime and in between time make sure you give me those big thumbs up make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell twice to be notified if you're an old subscriber make sure you it's on share your share my videos like i always say god only gives you one life y'all please live it bye y'all oh, wow.